All right, so what we've got here is a Health Strider treadmill motor controller, power supply, and the actual treadmill motor itself. Um, I bought this off Craigslist for 25 bucks. Tore it apart in about two or three hours. Took off everything, took everything apart because there were some other things off the treadmill I wanted for different projects. But um, I'm sharing this video so that somebody who would like to take one of these, uh, from what I've heard, these are pretty awesome, these variable speed, DC motor, basically, so that you can do things like install it on your bandsaw, junky bandsaw like that piece of S. Um, all right. So I took everything off the treadmill um, and left it intact and then tried to reconfigure it. For some of you that's looking at this video, I'm assuming that you are wanting to figure out the wiring part. It's very easy. Um, essentially, you want to get everything from the power supply disconnected and just have power feed through the motor controller. Let me go ahead and say I am no expert at all in electronics. Um, sometimes I don't even remember the names of stuff. So that's how much of a beginner I am. And if I can get this to power up and not have some magic smoke rise up, then trust me, you can do it. So <clears throat> originally, uh, so here's my power cord right here. Originally uh, white the white directly from power used to go to the, it says, get that to focus, hold still, focus, there we go. Used to get connect directly to that 120 volt input white. You can see that right there. And what would happen is it would go 120 volt output white. So, Power used to come in, and then power would come right back out, and it would ultimately make its way back over to the motor controller. Well, you're just bypassing this. So, in this case, I took power from here, plugged it in. Uh, let's see here, see if I can get that to focus so that people can see. Um, this is the MC can see that right there the MC60 motor controller so white feeds in directly sorry about this shaking so much uh, one of these blue lines that is connected to the motor from what I've figured out what I've read these two lines had to deal with a thermal some type of thermal protective breaker or something that's inside the motor. They've been disconnected. One of them used to go directly to this switch. Well, what I did was I disconnected it. This blue line used to be attached to this guy, I believe. But the bottom line is I just robbed it so that I didn't have to do any crimping or anything. I, I used no tools. It's just a matter of switching wires around. So it's plugged into the switch and it goes directly to AC1, which you can see right there. These three lines, uh, you can see I have H for high, W W for wiper and L for low. So these three, um, it's the same cord. All I did was I, I unplugged it. And it used to go to the power supply. Right back there, that plug. Well, I disconnected it, as I've read. Again, I'm not the one. I didn't come up with this. I'm just following other people's examples, but I just figured I'd make this video. So I just put hooked up a couple wires and alligator clips to a 5K potentiometer. So got my little variable resistor here. Um, I'm all plugged in. 
I disconnected, but I, I have a use for this. I got an idea for this with a little Arduino, but this is a reed switch right here. And this was connected to the treadmill and what it, if you're not familiar with a reed switch, from what I gather, basically it would count. It would switch between high and low over and over again off of that the magnet on the end of one of the rollers. I have an idea for that that I would like to uh, create a little RPM uh, reading that I want to install on that, but that's a different project. Anyway, that's disconnected. Everything is disconnected. You can see there's nothing that's hooked up. All of this is just off to the side. We are totally free of this power supply. We're tied in. Again, the two blue lines are disconnected from the motor. And uh, let me see if I got my switch turned on. We are on. I've got, well, duh. That's because we got an LED. Okay. And we'll go ahead and see it fire up. Again, my motor's right there. You can hopefully see it switch on. When, let me back up here enough so you can see me turn it. I'm turning it extremely slow because I just, there we go. So we do have some movement. Pretty low speed, which is great because my whole intention is to cut metal with my bandsaw. I'm hoping that this does it, uh, who knows, we'll, uh, we'll find out. This could all be for nothing. Worst case, I'll put it in a drill press. So I'm gonna take it on up a little bit. All right, and uh, I think I forgot to show the motor, but um, try to cover up that light so it doesn't. There we go. Sorry for shaking. 21 amp. Uh, I believe this thing said 7,000 RPMs on it. Let me just uh, take off the taking off a clamp with one hand is a it's always fun. So there we go, 7,000 RPM, 21 amp, it says it's two and a half horsepower power treadmill duty, and from what I've read, I think that has to deal with the energy that's stored in the flywheel or something of that nature. Again, I'm no expert on this, I'm no uh, expert in electronics either, but just thought I would share and uh, hopefully somebody can benefit from this. If not, it was a, just a big waste of breath. If you got negative comments, keep them to yourself. I really don't care. Other than that, enjoy. See ya.